Now to a story you will see only on RTV6. New questions tonight surrounding the man just convicted of killing a Ben Davis High School student and setting her body on fire. The suspect, William Golston. We've been investigating his release from prison in 2012. What we found, multiple recommendations that he be sent back to prison before the 15-year-old girl was murdered. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt has the details. The family of Dominique Allen believes the jury rendered a fair and just verdict, but they also believe that William Golston never should have been in the position to take her life in the first place. In the eight months leading up to the brutal murder of the 15-year-old Allen, William Golston demonstrated a clear pattern of breaking the faith the parole board had shown in him. He was a high-risk offender with a long and violent criminal history who showed a behavior of drug use and disdain for the sanctions placed on him. Charles Miller was the Indiana parole board member who gave Golston repeated chances. It was horror. I mean, this is every everyone who works in criminal justice from a from a prosecutor to a public defender to a parole or probation agent or a parole board member, this is not something you want to happen. This is the worst thing that can happen. It happened despite the fact that Golston was given two last chances to succeed or face going back to prison. In fact, Golston's Indianapolis parole agent urged Miller to send Golston back to prison to serve out the remainder of his sentence, which would have put him behind bars until 2018. Randy Gentry, who served on the Indiana Parole Board, said the decision to give Golston multiple last chances was Charles Miller's alone. How in the world would you give the guy another chance? And then ultimately, the, the thing that makes your heart sink when you start to dig in is it's like, you know, he's accused of murdering uh, a freshman high school girl that, and I have kids. That makes me mad. For the Allen family, the jury's verdict was bittersweet, but so unnecessary. It makes me mad to see that they gave him all those chances, and if they would have done what they were supposed to do, then we wouldn't be in this situation. She would still be here. I would. In hindsight, I certainly would make a different decision. However, that I'm not gifted with that power. William Golston, who faces sentencing for murder next month, has officially burned his last chance. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. Randy Gentry was appointed three times to the Indiana Parole Board by former Governor Mitch Daniels. Shortly after he raised questions about the handling of the Golston case, he says he was asked to resign from the board before he was ultimately fired by the state.